Hi, how you doing? Will Perry here. Uh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Failure. Why did? Why is it such a big issue? And it's not, it wasn't just a, a big issue for me. And I'll tell you more about that in just a second. This is a kind of short video. Um, uh, hopefully, you'll you'll recognise this, and this, this will speak to you and give you information that you haven't seen before. Anyway, um, yeah, ninety percent of small startups fail. I kind of knew that, but in my my small business, I thought, now I'm going to make sure that I'm not that ninety percent. Um, uh, 66% of percent of women in business feel like they have imposter syndrome, that they are not worthy, they're not good enough. Um, and uh, 40, 42% of marriages fail. Now, those are stats about failure or feeling like a failure. So this is a very brief introduction about how to avoid feeling like a failure without having to hide without having to hide and hide that and limit your life without having to limit yourself because it's such an unnecessary thing and I'm really excited you can probably tell really excited to share this with you because it's taken about 13 years uh, to get to this point well, it's taken my lifetime to get to this point but um, it's, it's 13 years of working on this although I didn't start with it being failure um, but this is one of the contributing factors this is one of the areas that was like all went into the melting pot to help me understand this. So it's taken a long time to get to this point, including failures along the way. So I want to share what I've learned with you. Uh, and like most stories uh, start with something happened. I guess my stories, I can attribute it back to when my sister died in the 2004 tsunami, the Boxing Day tsunami, uh, which is obviously tragic, tragic for everybody who lost somebody in that event. Um, and for me, it changed my my perspective on life. Um, but it didn't just go boom. Oh, that's it. Every, you know, I'm I'm doing this now because it it wasn't like that. But it set it sowed the seed, I think, and it made me more determined about the value of life, about the value and and why we shouldn't be happy and live. And, and it's, I was held back, and I didn't understand why. So I guess I can attribute that moment to um, a tenacity. Uh, to find the answer within me, um, if that makes sense. Um, but uh, science has shown that uh, you know there's been many studies on failure and why people fail and why they have this feeling, but nothing's kind of come up with it. And it, that wasn't satisfactory. It's, uh, failure is a prerequisite for success. Science has proven that you need to fail. And I think you, you know, we all intuitively know that. However, unless you suffer from this, and this is what I want to tell you about that, um, about I found the answer as to why the stats are so high on failure. I found out what the cause was and how to change it. Okay, and that's why I'm excited. And I've made it my purpose. Like I said, I became a bit tenacious and I made it my purpose to follow through because I wanted to do that for myself. But of course, I wanted to share that as I found the answers along the way. I wanted to share that uh, with people and help them out of the same situation that I was stuck in. So it became my journey, but I kind of had to go deeper because I was still failing. That's why I'm so excited to, to finally be able to share this with you now. So it comes up to three blocks, three blocks that get in the way that stop our li us living our lives. The first block is that the current solutions don't go deep enough. Uh, they're focusing on, on the wrong issues, superficial issues that we can see, not the real problem. Let me explain that. Uh, every course, every program, every solution that I thought <laughs> would solve the problem and help me become successful uh, assumes that you can take action and implement what you've learned. Boom, boom, boom. You know, A plus B equals C. Um, one plus two equals, you know, uh, the, 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 it just works that way. Um, however, that is not the case if you suffer from this. And I could see the patterns in myself, you know, bought a course, a marketing course, a whatever course to help me with that problem that I was suffering with. Uh, I was failing because I didn't have enough information. So if I get the information, still failed. Um, uh, uh, a sales course, that's where I was failing. So get a sales course, know how to sell, understand, know how to sell, understand, Im implement the sales strategy, bleh, it all fall apart. And it's like, why? You know, but I was in the self-help industry. Coaching, counselling, psychotherapy, people, you know, it's like people were coming to me and I've helped co coaches, psychotherapists, counsellors along the way with this stuff once I've realised it myself. And it becomes like, gosh, how come we don't know this? How come we can't see this? And I could see it in the industry that I was in. And it's like, but I'm stuck in it as well. What is it? Why did I always fail? It was so frustrating. But again, that tenacity with me, within me, I had to keep on digging. And I found the driver. And it was shocking because I, I didn't know it was there. I had no idea that this was you know, the cause of it or the driver. And it's how we react to failure. It's how we react. And I could see it everywhere. In, in you know, Once it became clear to me, it was like, 
that's what's happening. When we hit failure, what happens? All right. And science shows, I indicated that at the beginning, science shows that, you know, all the studies um, that we need to fail at least two point on average, uh, 2.03 times, you know, proper failures, not just a little bit on a bounce back, proper failures um, before uh, before we hit success, because it is an, an inevitable part of success failure is an inevitable part you have to go through it at least 2.03 times um but what happens when you we suffer from this is that we uh we hit failure and crumble at the first sign um and what it is is that discovered that it's the mother of all beliefs and that's what's up here that's what's the the cause is the mother of all beliefs and it underpins everything and it's like wow once I'd seen it, wow, you know, I cracked the, cra- cracked, <laughs> cracked the code and I, I finally found the system because I systemized it. I worked it backwards from myself and it's like, right, here's the system. Uh, okay, let me give you an example. So uh, Emma Emma came uh, to the, the program. She came for anxiety. She got her anxiety in order, all right? She was able to control the anxiety, completely transformed her anxiety, which was hugely severe, all right? Yet, what, when she did that, she started to realise that she could control her weight. And she'd been suffering with weight and she'd been failing so many times with managing her weight. She was, uh, she said, five stone overweight. And when somebody says that, you think, oh, you know, yeah, yeah oh, no, you're not, you know. But she believed she was five stone overweight, and uh, but she'd failed. Um, she'd done, uh, followed a system, a well, well-known system, and uh, she'd failed repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly failed each time. And they were saying willpower, and it's like, no, it didn't work. And I was like, no, of course it's not willpower, it's this. Uh, and once she understood this, then she was able to become consistent, and uh, she became a woman of the year in that uh, in that group. And it was like how everyone was going, "Wow, how how did you lose this weight?" And she lost that fire stone and maintained that loss uh, over the last couple of years. And it's like, how did you? Do, you know, everybody's desperate to know. You know, what is it? What's the diet? What's the name of it? What is it? What is the exercise? What is it? How have you done it? And when Emma was saying, oh, yeah, it's, it's not. You know, it's this mother of all beliefs. It's this belief. This program I've done. It's about beliefs and. And they'd kind of gloss over, uh, okay, but how did you lose the weight? You know, because they wouldn't be able to hear that. They couldn't comprehend it. They couldn't understand it. Uh, And it was really cool. And actually, uh, Emma went on from that. She took her power back. She was able to uh, manage relationships that uh, where she'd give her power away and become uh, a doormat and be walked on over. And and, uh, uh, if you know that feeling as well, Um, and she felt a failure in that respect. So she took the power back in all her relationships, significant relationships. Um, and in fact, she uh, became so passionate about this as a, as a like, how come people don't see this? People need to see this. That she she started helping me out on the program. She's her superpower is um, organization. It's not my superpower. So she really helped in terms of adding value to the group, but also to me in terms of being more organized. And that led on to her with more. Um, more uh, involvement and more support to her actually becoming an accountability partner on the program on the pathway uh, so it's a lovely story from absolute you know extreme anxiety to not being able to manage her failures to overcoming them becoming success which is just a lovely story so that's the first first that's only the first block uh, current solutions don't go deep enough we're, all right, we're focused on the wrong problem all right it needs to focus on the the mother of all beliefs do you get that um Second block that stops us in life is that there's something wrong. There's something wrong with us. We inherently believe that something's wrong with us. We're broken in some way. And it's absolutely not true. What it is, we, we evidence that from the past. So we were like, oh, yeah, I know. Uh, I've got lots of evidence of all the failures, where you failed in the past, beliefs. Uh, beliefs up here, you know, that's where they are, isn't it? You know, is it not? Beliefs are in there. We know We know something is wrong with us, like concrete, you know. Uh, And if you look at the Dove report, it says 70% of girls. And this is shocking, you know, 70% of girls believe, no, like concrete, uh, that they are not good enough. I mean, that's shocking. That's awful, isn't it? That our society creates 70% of girls, and I've got two girls. That moves me. The believe, not that my girls believe that, but I'm, I'm determined that they won't believe that believe that girls uh, that they are not good enough and that's shocking you know 66 percent of women the hr magazine hr uk magazine uh, came out with this stat 66 percent of women suffer from imposter syndrome in the workplace and that's shocking you know believing they're not worthy they're not good enough they're not you know awful shocking 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 and what they do is self-sabotage what i was doing was self-sabotage it's how we react to failure that's so key. Remember, it's a prerequisite for success. And it's, it's what stops us. 
And I needed to go deeper and look into this to be able to solve it for myself. I had that tenacity within me. And again, it's the mother of all beliefs. I was so shocked I didn't realise it. I knew I had to change. And I had to change. I had to go through that process to be able to map it out and actually have the system. But each one of us is unique. Okay, so I tracked my mind back and was able to create a system. But each one of us is unique. We have a different uh, belief, a different mother of all beliefs. Uh, yet there's a structure. And that's what I was able to map out and create um, to help people through it. Because everyone has a different uh, you know, structure. We are all unique. And here's the example that I put. Uh, Trina, lovely, gorgeous Trina uh, from Norway. Um, she uh, went through this process. It's a snapshot of the, the Zoom call that we did of me taking her through this process. It's a six step process, all right? It's about finding your big three beliefs, but underneath that, there's one, there's one mother of all beliefs. Um, and finding that, it was just a moment for her because she'd worked with me on the program for a little while, but she was only up to that point. She'd made some transformation, no, maybe she'd made some changes, but not that transformation. Uh, and this is the point where the transformation happened and it's just a lovely thing. It's like, poof, it makes sense of everything. Everything falls into place and it's just a lovely thing, both to witness and to have happen. Uh, and, and out of that, then you're, be able, you're able to create three positive beliefs that kind of counteract that. And we got all the tools on the program to be able to do that. I had those tools as an NLP trainer, but on their own, unless you know what exactly you're changing, it was it didn't work and you'd end up in failure. You need to define the, the mother of all beliefs to be able to then track it going forward, saying, I'm not going to be that belief. And it's just awesome. So we believe that, some, you know, that's the second belief that we, um, that we believe or block, that we believe that there's something wrong, that we're broken in some way, which absolutely isn't the truth. And number three is that the reason I can't change, because there's a myriad of reasons and it's a double bind, all right? Because we believe there's a real reason we can't change. You, you want something, you want to be a success, but you believe you're a failure. You believe you're not good enough. And guess which one wins? And that belief is low self-esteem. It's the core negative false belief that we have when we have so, uh, low self-esteem. OK, so um, take the test if you don't know whether you have low self-esteem or not, because um, it's so easy. The test is uh, on. Uh, I'll put the link in the next video or just down below on the next video. Um, the uh, the test is just two minutes long. It's reliable. It's confidential. I don't see the results. Uh, it's completely over to you. It will give you that score of whether you have low self-esteem. Uh, or it's kind of in the grey area, or you're healthy, in which case you don't need me, you don't need to hear this, you know, but if you have low self-esteem, you need this, because this isn't available anywhere else, this isn't, this, you know, this was my tenacity, my 13 years, this wasn't, this answer hasn't been around, that's why I had to create it, I had to, and I'm not a, a, a demigod, super, you know, it's just like, I had to pull together everything to be able to solve it for me, and it's like, once I did, it's like, I need to get this out there, this is amazing, so take the test, you know, find out really easily, because the internal, versus the external there's always going to be a reason why you can't why you believe you can't why you believe you fail but guess what you can't see the internal belief you can't see that it's not evident to you so all you see is the reason the outside reason oh, I don't have enough money if I had enough money I'd be able to get that course if I did that I'd be able to do if I circumstances I can't do that because of that I can't do all you see is the external reason. You're not aware of the internal driver, which, of course, remains hidden. Until you look, shine the light on it. I always go like this. Until you shine the light on it, you know? Only then will you be able to see, oh, crap. It's not real. It's false. Um, so when uh, we've done this with um, uh, Emma and Trina, for example, um, it's really powerful. It's emotional. It moves you. It's like, holy crap, this is what it is. And you understand finally. And then, what, with that understanding, then you can change it. So it's really empowering, you know, this mother of all beliefs. Um, and for Trina, it's, um, uh, oh gosh, what was it for Trina? Uh, because it's, it's so unique. It's almost meaningless. Uh, I can never be me. That was what hers was, Trina's. It's meaningless. But for her, it's like, poof, she had that belief. And that underpinned everything. For Emma, it was... Um, uh, recognition isn't love Poof, for her that changed everything it doesn't mean anything for me it's I'm useless Poof, for me that changed everything it's like oh crap everything I've been doing it's on this belief that I'm useless I'm bound to fail but it meant nothing and if somebody said to me which they had on many occasions you're not useless you're amazing you're brilliant you know yeah you know, it's like no that doesn't change it that's not enough people can say it and say don't do that not enough OK, so this is really big stuff. And that's why I'm so excited to share this stuff. So there's three blocks that get in the way for us. Um, 
uh, and stop us in life. The current solutions don't go deep enough. There's something wrong with us, all right? And the reason, you've got a, a thousand reasons why you can't change, all right? But I found the system, I cracked the code. Uh, so this is about how to avoid feeling like a failure without hiding, without feeling like you have to hide or limit your life. Because you do, it does. It limits your life. So uh, welcome to Pathway Coaching. That's what this is about. Click on the next link just to, to uh, if you want to find out more, if you want to ha find out how I've systemized this so that you can transform to the world needs this solution, then find, you know, click on the next link, find out. It's again, just a 15 minute video of me explaining how it is, how it works. And I'm really excited. You can probably tell, um, I'm really excited to be able to share this with you because it's taken me over 13 years and many failures to get to this point. I'd be really interested to hear what your uh, mother of all beliefs is because we're all unique, you know, and I've, oh, um, yeah, I've shared mine as well, haven't I? So yeah, um, yeah, everyone is unique and it doesn't, makes sense but once once you find it it makes sense and it's like underpins everything so so come and find out uh, solve a, about how you can solve the real problem click on the next link and uh, that's me done Whew, that was a whistle stop tour uh, of failure click on the next link uh, you know take the test come and take the test completely free confidential only takes two minutes uh, find out more in the video uh, or, or find out how you can join all right many thanks speak to you soon all right bye bye